morning sickness, shmorning sickness. They should call it every waking and sleeping instance of your life, except for when you have bread and cheese shoved into your mouth hole sickness. Anytime I was eating, the only thing I could handle, bread and cheese, I felt fine while I was eating and for the 10 minutes after I was eating and then I felt horrible again. Some people don't get morning sickness. I was one of the lucky ones who had it for the full three months, seriously feeling like every single waking moment of my life I was gonna die and I would even wake up in the middle of the night also just feeling so incredibly nauseous and I would try to eat and that would sometimes help for a few minutes and then I would just go back to being terrible. It was really awful. It was really awful. For those of you lucky ladies who don't get morning sickness, I say congratulations. That's so great for you. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. I would not wish that shit on my worst enemy, let alone a lady who's making a human being because that's a lot of work. Now that I'm out of the woods of constantly feeling awful, I'm actually able to talk about it. There was a time where I couldn't even talk about it because it made me want to die. Just even mentioning how sick I felt. It was really, really fucking bad. And the weirdest part about it was the food I was eating was actually playing a huge part. And you think, well, that's normal. Like you are what you eat. And when you eat healthy, you feel good, right? No, no, wrong. This might not be for everyone, but when I ate healthy, I felt a million times worse and it was like a guaranteed puke session. Like vegetables equal vomiting. Bread and cheese, I'll be okay. My baby is from Jersey. I don't eat beef. I do not eat beef, but my baby likes beef. My baby is not a vegetarian. He's like, this California bullshit lifestyle with the farmer's market is some horse shit and I want some beef. I literally had dreams about beef three nights in a row and then I got in my car and I went to In-N-Out and I ordered a hamburger with cheese, which people call a cheeseburger, and I ate it in my car. I was really starting to get freaked out because you want to eat healthy because you're growing a baby and you're like, now's the time to eat healthy. And I read books and I talked to the doctor and I talked to girlfriends who had already been through this whole thing. And the general consensus was, fuck it. So if you have any questions for me about pregnancy or what's going on or what to expect when you're expecting but you don't want to read the book, what to expect when you're expecting, then leave me a comment in the little box and I'll, you know, answer it and tell you what's up. Just know that I have absolutely no medical experience whatsoever and might tell you something really wrong. Next week, I might know the sex. I don't know, I have a doctor's appointment. We're gonna find out, but if the baby's like, hunched up in a ball or sometimes if it's a girl or if it's a boy but the penis isn't ready to like come out it's in a shell like a little turtle then you don't find out till later it's still kind of early we don't know we'll see but I'm gonna tell you if I find out and then you can tell me what to name the baby bye